It's been three weeks since the election, and now President-elect Donald Trump is giving his insight into his proposed tariffs. Let's verify whether or not these could raise the cost of the items you buy. Donald Trump has announced that on day one as president, he will impose tariffs on imported goods from the nation's three largest trading partners, China, Mexico, and Canada. On Truth Social, Trump said he'd impose a 25% tariff on Mexican and Canadian goods and add another 10% tariff, on top of existing ones, on items from China. Trump cited the flow of migrants and drugs, including fentanyl, as the primary reasons for the tariffs. Several Verify viewers asked if Trump's plan would actually raise costs for Americans, as some economists have warned. So, let's verify. Our sources are the Council on Foreign Relations, the Tax Foundation, the American Action Forum, and the Center for American Progress Action Fund. Tariffs are taxes that the government imposes on imported goods. Here's how they work. Let's say an American store buys shirts for $10 in Vietnam and sells them for $12 in the U.S. Under Trump's proposed tariff, the business would pay an additional $1 or $2 to import the shirts. While the importer could absorb the cost, economists say it's more likely the business will sell the shirts for up to $14 passing the cost on to the consumer. Estimates from conservative and progressive policy experts vary, but they all say Trump's tariff proposals are generally expected to cost a typical household between $1,700 and $6,000 annually, even if companies shift some manufacturing back to the U.S. So, yes, Trump's proposed tariffs would likely raise costs for Americans. President Joe Biden faced similar criticism earlier this year from fellow Democrats when he imposed increased tariffs on some Chinese goods, including solar panels and electric vehicles. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.